Today let us learn about injectables or providers. This is an important topic. I'll simply touch the base that is the basics of injectable or providers. I'll open up my Ionic 2 project which has blank template installed. I'll let it compile in the background. So this is our home screen component and its associated template file. It do not have anything much here except the first page printed out on the home screen. Well, injectables or the providers are kind of a layer, an abstract layer between your application and an external or internal data service. Well, if you are from Ionic 1 or Angular 1 background, it's same as the service or factory we used to use. So I'll straight away go and generate our provider. So G4 generate space provider space or provider name. Observe here about the themes folder. So our Ionic 2 command line interface generated a provider for us with the name called data. Let's have a look. So we have injectable keyword here. It's a decorator kind of decorator. So we have some import statements which we are not going to use in today's tutorial but still let it be here because we'll be using it in our coming videos. I'll take a variable called data. Let it be an array which has some objects with company details, some company name, some unique code and product detail. I'm doing this because if I use HTTP, you need to know about observables, maps, maybe concatenation and subscribe thing, all those things. I'll explain all those things in separate videos. So in order to keep this example minimalistic and still make you understand about this provider, I'm, I'm taking a local array variable here. So I won't be using this HTTP request in today's video tutorial. So I'll create a method called load all, wherein I'll simply return this object, this variable that is array. Even though this is a local variable, I'll mock uh, a return of a promise. So I'll simply return this array variable. That's it for data service. So coming back to my home component. First thing is to import the service we want to use. So let's grab its class name that is data and import the file. From make sure you give the path correctly. First we need to get out of home directory with double dots slash let's get out of pages directory slash let gets in get inside providers folder and then link to data file. Okay. Oops, I clicked on something. Control Z. Okay. Now let me create a reference to my data class. Now, this dot data, the reference variable dot, I'll call its method load all, which we have here. That would return all the data we have there. Since it is a promise which is returned, we use the then syntax. It will return some result and we will assign it to a local variable here. I'll create a variable called companies and assign the result to this dot companies that is the local variable. Now going to the associated HTML file that is template file. 
I'll create a list of all the items and iterate through the data we received. Let company of companies. I'll fetch individual data of companies array and print it print the names out on the screen company dot name let me compile this code let me allow it to compile in the background by the way we missed one thing that is we need to even import and specify the provider name inside our app.modules file which is present inside apps directory so import here oh we have a mistake in file name here also the path need to be changed get outside this app folder with double dots slash get inside so get out of app folder so and then get inside providers folder and then please note that our data file name is data with the small d and we need to specify the name class name inside providers section we made a mistake here in the import statement i guess yeah let me make the case small now it's fine the compilation has finished let me open up our project in the browser and it's working so in our next video tutorial i'll show how to pass data between pages using now params class that's for our next video tutorials please share this video with your friends on social networking sites and stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you